Before starting the video we are asking you for a quick favor, it takes great efforts to make videos like this for you. So please support us, you can subscribe our channel and like the video, and comment us your opinions, as if you are interested in ethical hacking, bug bounty programs or cybersecurity then make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon on, so you get notified every time we upload a new video. So today in this lecture we're going to learn what DNS spoofing is and how to perform it. DNS is a server that converts domain names such as google.com to the IP of the server that is hosting this website. So when you type google.com in your web browser the request goes to DNS server, the server responds with the IP where google.com files are stored and the browser will load the website from this IP. Now, when we are the man in the middle, the request for google.com will pass to us first before it goes to the DNS server. Therefore, instead of giving the IP of the server that is hosting google.com, we can actually give any IP we want. So we can redirect them to a fake website, with a backdoor, or with evil code, hijack software updates, and so much more. We'll actually have examples on this in future lectures, but for now, Let's see how we can run a basic DNS spoofing attack in which we redirect requests from a specific website to our own website or our own web server. Now, before we run BetterCap, let's decide on where to redirect our target to. So we can redirect them to any website we want. For example, when someone requests google.com, we can redirect them to Yahoo. But what I want to do is I want to redirect them VulnWeb website, to a local website that I'm going to start on Kali. So Kali comes with its own web server, so we can actually use it as a website. And to do this, all we have to do is just start the web server. So we're going to do service, Apache 2 start. So Apache 2 is the name of the web server, and we're saying that we want to start the service. If I hit enter, we see no errors, which means that the server is working now. And to access this website, to access this server, we have to go to Kali's IP. So as you know, to get our IP, we can do ifconfig. And we can see our IP is 192.168.246143. So if I just go to a web browser and go to 192.168.246143, you'll see I'll get the default page of this website, as I edited it before so it is showing this you're hacked. Now the pages for this default website is stored in var www.html. So I'm gonna open my terminal and I'm gonna write here get it slash var slash www slash html slash index dot html. And as you can see, these are the default codes for this website. So if you want to install a fake website or any type of website, all you have to do is just put its files in here. This will open the html code for me. And I'm actually just gonna remove this and I'll just put a line hello, here is dark web association. Like I said, we're just doing this for testing. So just showing you which files get loaded by default and where you can actually put a website if you want it to host a proper website here. So I'm going to go back here. And if I refresh the page, you can see hello, here is dark web association is written here. Now that's perfect. Right now we still haven't executed our DNS spoofing attack, but what I want to do is when my target tries to go to a specific website, I'm going to redirect them to this page that shows this web page. So let's go to the target machine first, and let's go to our target website. I'm gonna do this against VulnWeb website, vulnweb.com. So if you load this website, you'll see you will get the result same as before. Basically, the website is working as expected. Now, let's go ahead and run this attack. So I'm gonna go to better cap. I'm gonna run it using the exact same command that we've been using so far. So we're just doing better cap with the interface with this net.cap caplet so we can intercept data and modify it as it's flowing through our computer. And as you can see, it's running with no errors. So that's all good. Now, the module that we want to use is called DNS spoof. So if I do help right now, you can see it right here. It's called DNS spoof and it's not running. And as usual, if we don't know how to use a module, all we have to do is do help followed by the module name. And in this case, it's DNS spoof. And as you can see, we get all the options that we can set for this module. 
first option being the DNS spoof address. This is the address that the user will be redirected to. So if you want to redirect them to another website, you have to put the IP of this other website here. In my case, I want to redirect them to my local website, to the website that we have here, which is running at 192.168.246143. Therefore, I'm not going to have to modify this because by default, this is set to the IP of my interface. The next thing that we want to modify is the dns.spoof.all. We want to set this to true so that BetterCap responds to any DNS request. So just like any other option within BetterCap to change its value, we have to do set, followed by the option name that we want to modify, and in this case it's dns.spoof.all, and we want to set this to true. Sorry, this is all being produced by the sniffer. The next option that we want to set is the dns.spoof.domains. This will specify the domains that we want to target, that we want to spoof. And as mentioned, we can use a comma to separate more than one domain. And as you know, we want to target vulnweb.com and we want to redirect that to our own website running on Kali. So we need to change this option right here, dns.spoof.domains. And again, we're going to do this by doing set, the option name, which is dns.spoof.domains. And we're going to set this to vulnweb.com. As mentioned in the option, we can use the comma to specify more than one domain, and the other domain that I want to specify is star.vulnweb.com. So the star right here is a wildcard, and it basically means that I want to target any subdomain so I'm going to hit enter, and we don't see any errors, so everything is set as expected. And all we need to do now is start the DNS spoof. And to do this, we just need to run dns.spoof on exactly the same way that we start any other module. I'm gonna hit enter, and this should be running right now. And as you can see, it's telling us that it's going to spoof vulnweb.com to this IP, which is again, this is our IP. We verified this using the ifconfig command. And keep in mind, we actually did not have to give BetterCap this IP, it got it automatically. It's also telling us that the other target is star.vulnweb.com and it'll be spoofed to this. Now let's go to the target machine and test this, and before you test this please keep in mind you might need to wait for a minute or two for the changes to propagate. Also, if you just loaded this website just like I did right now, it's a good idea to remove all your browsing data. You won't have to do this in real-life scenarios unless the target person is constantly loading the same page which doesn't happen a lot, but if the target person goes ahead and browses a few websites, comes back to vulnweb.com and perfect. As you can see, we get redirected to the Kali webpage instead of loading vulnweb.com and now this will work against all websites even if they use HTTPS as you saw earlier, the only websites that this will not work against are websites that use HSTS because again, as I mentioned before, the browser has a list of these websites. The list is stored locally on the target computer, so it doesn't send any requests, and it'll only load these websites over HTTPS. So even though the attack will work, the browser will refuse to load the website that we are spoofing them to. Now, as you can see, what we did so far is not very useful, all we did is just we showed a written statement. But DNS spoofing is very, very useful in so many scenarios. You can use it, for example, when someone is trying to go to a login page and show them a fake page, or if they're trying to go to a social media, for example, and then just show them another fake social media pages with some malware embedded into it. You can also use it to serve fake updates. So whenever they have a software that's going to check for updates, we can DNS, pull that request and send them a fake update with a backdoor. And we'll see that later on in the course. So it's a really, really handy skill that can be used in so many scenarios.